Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to True Fear, Forsaken Souls, Part 1, Part 5. And I don't think I'm ever going to get used to really saying that, but there we are. That's what it is. Okay, so I've got a pretty full inventory, honestly. A pretty full inventory of pretty useful items, and I think I know what to do with most of them. I think the only one that's really kind of stumping me is this one all the way to the left, the pencil. Um, but the scary medallion that's got to go into the doorknob downstairs. The tweezers, I would think, would pick up the ring that's outside. Uh, the lighter, I'm hoping, might be able to melt away the ice in the freezer. The stain remover to remove the blood stain uh, next to the freezer. The well handle for the well. And what else we got? The safe key for the safe that I think's next door to this room, right? And uh, the anti-rust spray. I think that's going to be used maybe twice. Uh, maybe on that lock. Um, yeah, I think it's a rusty lock on the cupboard. And I think there is also a can that has been rusted shut. And I think that's pretty much it. So what are we going to do first? That is the real question. I suppose it's got to be the safe key. That's probably the closest thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Are we ready to leave this room? I think so. I think last time I was quite thorough with exploring this and like inspecting everything. So we can't do anything with the barricade or anything else with the mannequin. Can't pull the covers down. Nothing under the pillow. Found the collectible over there, of course. Ah, let's not forget there's some hair down here, right? And I need a bag for it. Who, who is her exactly? Is this my sister? D yeah, could that be my sister's hair? Maybe. Could be Dahlia's hair. And then again, maybe Dahlia is your sister. A long lost sister. Eh? Ever thought about that? That's my latest theory, I think. Well, there you go. Okay, so I guess I'll come back when I found a bag. Weird. Okay, well let's back away. Let's head towards that safe. Oh, right. Yeah, before we do that, though, um, let's have another look at the bath. Again, something we shouldn't forget. There's a hairdryer in here that's out of order, and I should see if I can find the manual somewhere. So, I don't know, maybe somewhere next to the bag I'm going to find a manual. Hidden amongst the items in this house. All right. Again, something I'll have to come back to. But let's leave the bathroom. Let's climb through the window onto the balcony, through the door, and let's have a look at this. Okay, does the key fit? It does! Thank fuck for that! I thought there was going to be some sort of hidden second safe, but no. Better yet, it turns and opens to reveal a skull? Yeah. No, sorry, not a skull. Skulls! Oh. Oh, just like the planks from before. It's very difficult to see this. It's actually cut off like last time, but there's actually one out of seven underneath it, so... There's six more skulls to find? What the fuck? Okay, as well as the skull, there's also a notepad, which I can use. Oh, maybe if I find- Oh, right, a pencil! Okay, okay! <laughs> Mystery over. Mystery solved. I know what to do with the pencil. <laughs> Brilliant. So, recreate the drawing. Use the pencil to cover the page until the imprint of the drawing is revealed. Oh, oh, hang on, I was doing it. Ah, oh, I don't even need to click down. This is nice. Okay. Well, well, well. What are we going to find here? I've got to say, I like these little segments uh, when you do some, like, sort of proper puzzling. Like, when you're moving something about or uh, or you're, you're doing a jigsaw or, I don't know, trying to uncover the drawing of an ancient Egyptian god or something or whatever the hell this is, some sort of deity. It's very nice. You know what, I think I've kind of overlooked the hidden object genre for too long. Maybe I should really investigate some other games. Maybe there are some other games that are like this. A little bit more in-depth than your average one. I don't know. I've heard that the, I think, the, the Nancy Drew games are quite good, so maybe at some point I'll check them out. I've seen this before. This looks so familiar. Okay. Didn't quite get all of it. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, did I put it in my book? I did! This drawing might be a clue. Well, I certainly hope so. It being in the clues section and all. What else is in the clues section? Oh, that's right! Yes, I should go back to the living room as well to, uh, to put that time in. That's a significant time. And yeah, still need to get those, uh, those locks off. But I haven't even begun to find any of those keys, so... I don't know, maybe we're not done with this, uh with this chapter quite yet. Okay. So that's it, yeah? Nothing else in the safe? 
one out of seven skulls. I think the skulls are gonna be like maybe the new pencil, because I really don't know what to do with that. Um Okay, what's next? Anything else to do here? I don't think so. Already used the shears, messed with the bureau. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go downstairs. I guess maybe to the living room. Oh no, 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 no. I think I've made that mistake a couple of times. Uh yes, in here. To have a look at the clock. Ah, perfect. Okay, so it was a quarter to seven, right? Oh, did I do something wrong? Or did I do it? I don't know. Oh, this is new. Couldn't do this before, I don't think. I must have got the right time. We find another skull. Two of seven, five to go. And not only that, there's something down here and I need an emblem to lift the lid, I guess? So it's got to be some sort of weirdly shaped key. And it's definitely not this scary medallion. But it might be something similar. I don't know. So there's something at the bottom of the grandfather clock? Okay. Maybe it's a bag. Or maybe it's the hairdryer manual. Or something equally illogical. I don't know. Probably nothing to do with the clock, though. Um, okay. Yet again. Something we're just going to have to come back to. There was nothing else in here. I don't think so, really. Let's back away. And let's head towards the kitchen, shall we? Um, let's have a look at the box. That's where I've seen it from. That's it. That is this guy, right? No, <laughs> that's not a guy. This guy. But yes. I guess... I'm going to have to try and recreate that when I find this guy's missing arm. Because it does look like these can be moved around. But just, just not yet. Still need to find his arm, or maybe recreate an arm, I don't know. Have I got anything that could maybe slot in? The tweezers? No, I should try something else. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there, really. Um, <laughs> probably not going to be the skulls. Yeah, okay, I'll have to come back to it. But let's have a look at this can. I should be able to, uh, to get this open now, right? Because it's, um, right, it's rusted shut. Okay, so the anti-rust spray, meat can. Really? What? Really? I... No, I didn't misclick. It's hellish being wrong. Well, yeah, it is. When you're not wrong. That's rusted shut. It said it again. Rusted shut. Anti-rust spray. H how does this not go together? I should try something else. What? Is there a specific anti-rust spray, like, second can that we need to find or something? Why aren't you using that? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Maybe that's just very specifically for the rusty lock, I mean, that cupboard, in the next room. And the stain remover, I mean... How do we get it open, if not that? Uh, I'm miffed, honestly. Or maybe we have to do one before the other. Maybe that's it. I mean, that doesn't really make sense, but maybe that's it. Ah, oh, such a shame. In some ways, this game is so logical, and you can think things through and everything makes sense. But in some cases, like this one, it's just bizarre, really. Anyway, let's move over to the uh, the cupboard. No matter, I'll get over it. Let's have a look at this. So this is rusted, much like the can. But this time the spray works. Weird. Okay. And that's it. We don't get to keep the can. It was just that one spray and it's done. You don't exactly get your money's worth, do you? Bloody hell. Okay. Alright, what's this? Oh. Oh, that's the hairdryer manual! Okay. Alright, so I guess we can perhaps get that fixed now. Is that it? Really? Not even a third skull? No hidden compartments or anything? Oh. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I was expecting something a little bit more significant than that. Huh. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that's it, isn't it, though? I mean, because, yeah, we can't open the drawers because there's nothing interesting inside there, apparently. And I don't think we can open this. Uh, I don't want to break anything or something, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's back away. What do we do next? Should we have a look at this? Or should we go mess with the freezer and the bloodstain? I am going to leave the scary medallion and the scary door alone. Let's leave that till last, if possible. I'm trying to hype this up more than it probably should be, but let's go have a look at the freezer, and let's have a look at the bloodstain. Let's start with the freezer. 
Let's try the uh, the lighter. I should try something else. Was I misclicking there? I don't think so. It's probably not going to work. No, okay. It is hellish being wrong. And I admit that I am probably wrong in this case. Maybe a combination of the two. Maybe if you set the... Can we combine stuff? No, I was thinking maybe we could make a sort of makeshift flamethrower. Uh, that's probably not going to work. Um, of course there's... Oh, yeah, fuck. I know exactly what to do now. As soon as that hairdryer is fixed, it's got to come down here. That's why there's a socket there, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. I can't think of any other use for the hairdryer once it's fixed. So it's got to be. Okay, so that's... That's how we get the bucket. And that's how we... That's how we put the bucket down at the bottom of the well. What's at the bottom of the well? I guess we'll find out in due course. Let's come out of this. Now, let's see if we can um, find whatever's meant to be caked in blood. Okay. Oh, here we go. It, is that a human tooth? I think so. What the hell? So there's a... There's a human tooth? Is this my sister's by any chance? Because there's hair upstairs. Why are we collecting, like, body parts? This is kind of creepy. What, what? What's the logic here? <laughs> what are you trying to do, Holly? Weird. Kind of delightfully weird, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Much like the anti-rust spray, uh, it's just sort of one spray and it's done. Everything I touch only has one use. It's horrible. It really is. I'm just leaving a, a trail of empty cans and, and bottles behind me. So there we are. That's that done. Let's go outside. Wasn't there something I needed to do here? I've done the jigsaw. I Oh, yeah, the leaves, right? Oh, Christ, yeah, the leaves. I'll need something to sweep the leaves aside. Why? I think I said this last time. I'd be surprised if I didn't, but why? Brush them aside with your foot. They're not going to hurt you. Oh, maybe... <laughs> Stupid idea, but... Do I have to pick up each leaf individually? No, I don't. Thank fuck for that. Do I burn them? No? Okay, I thought that would be a, a viable strategy, but no. Something very specifically to sweep the leaves aside. Say, like, a broom that you got rid of. Silly woman. Alright, again, we're gonna have to come back to this. Let's head towards the well. Okay, yeah. Um, so, the tweezers... The tweezers are for the ring. Great. Alright, so that's, that was my sister's favourite ring or something, right? Oh, come on, what? Now the battery dies? Just as I was about to pick it up again. Seriously, one use, and it's done in this game. Such a shame. Oh well. That could have come in very handy. Maybe we'll find some other light source later down the line. Um, so I don't have the bucket, but I do have this well handle, which I suppose has got to go up there, hasn't it? That's it. But quite right, why would I turn it now? I should drop the bucket first. Yes. And to get the bucket, I need to fix the hairdryer, I think. So, I think next stop is maybe upstairs. Or should I use the scary medallion? Nah, you know what? I've kept you waiting long enough. Let's, let's see if we can go through that scary door, shall we? So, let's go back a couple times. I'm, I'm kind of littering the place with the items that I found. I mean, I'm not putting any of them back. I'm just dropping them on the floor, I assume. Yeah, vines just grew here. But here we are. The scary medallion in the scary doorknob. Perfect fit. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. I'll be honest, I thought we were going to get met with a cutscene or something. Ah, uh, but no. What? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, it's a... Oh. Okay, so it's a can opener. So, if you wanted me to use the can opener on the can, why did you say it was rusted shut? To prevent me from opening it, I suppose? Ah, oh, still. Couldn't you have said something else? Like, oh, I'll need a can opener to get this open or something. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I get it, though. I get it. Um... Right. What are we actually looking at here on this far wall? Are we looking at a load of knives? Let's just take a look at this. Holy shit, they're all knives. And keys. 
keys are hanging from some of the knives. Right. I can't take the- what? What was that? I can't take the keys until I find a way to pull the knives out. Right, have you tried gripping the knives with your hand and pulling? No, I can't pull the knives out. How many keys are there? I think there's eight. Six, seven. There's eight. For the basement door, for those locks. Aha! Okay. But how do we get the knives out? Are they all... Well, yeah, I guess so. It's almost surreal how hard those knives are stuck in there. Well, maybe the knives don't need to come out. Maybe the keys just have to go over the blade and the handle. I mean, this one looks pretty big. Like that one. Look at that little knife. Look at that big key ring. You can pull that right off. But apparently no. No, you can't. Okay. I think I actually saw another knife on the floor. Yes. As well as some candles and maybe a pentagram? <laughs> The candle just... what? I don't want to pick up a candle, do I? That's more like it. Oh. My god, what am I looking at here? And what did I just write down? Was it something like, my sister's fucking crazy? No. It looks like a ritual circle. Those five smaller circles need to be filled. Heart, eye, hand, lips, comb. Maybe these are clues to finding objects associated with the symbols. It must have belonged to my sister. Maybe it should have said, my sister's fucking crazy. But a few of the items I've picked up are actually making more sense now. I think. So, yeah, much like um, Barrow Hill the Dark Path, we're going to have to put some items down here. Five items. And I think I've got, I guess, two of them? Would the tooth go there? The tooth does go there. And we, we can't... We can't take that back. That's it. The ring? Yes. Maybe the skulls? Uh. Oh. Oh, we, we can't actually use these like uh, a proper item, so... Yeah. I, I, I need to find the other five, I suppose. Um, that's got to be the hair upstairs, right? I still need to get a bag for that. The heart and the eye, I'm not sure about. Let's have a look at this note. What does this mean? Heather, I'm sorry I left you to face this alone. She understands me! She promised to help me get revenge! I was so lonely before I found her! So, who are you talking about? Dahlia? Dahlia understands you? Dahlia promised to help you get revenge? On who? Me? This is the method of getting revenge? I I'm a little bit confused, honestly. Again. This knife is stuck so deep that I can't even budge it. <laughs> it is one beautiful dagger, though. But there we are. Okay. Okay. Shit. Um. Let's see. This is crazy. This really is. I wasn't expecting this. I'll, I'll admit. Um. Lots of melted candles. Can we pull this one back? No, nope, can't pull that curtain back. A couple of pipes that we can't take. Got that lighter, maybe it's to light the candles. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one specifically, yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, there is something inside it. Oh! The bottom of the grandfather clock! It's that little um, emblem, the club's emblem, right. Yeah, I was gonna call it a clover, but yeah, clubs makes more sense, I suppose. What are these things? They look like old scabbards or something, honestly. They're probably not. <laughs> Weird. What was that? How could these candles still be burning? Hmm, I don't know. Some of them aren't. Alright, how... How do we get the knives out of the wall, then? That's a bit of a puzzler. Right. I think we'll come back to this. I've said that way too many times during this entire chapter, really, but uh, we'll have to come back to this. Let's go back into the kitchen. Let's have a look at this can. Let's open this can, right? Can we actually do that this time? Okay, what's inside? What was that? Pla oh, plastic bags! Inside the can, right, that was rusted shut. Why would you keep plastic bags in a can? I have no idea. But that is going to help us collect the hair. Okay. Okay, on the way back to the stairs, let's once again go back into the living room. And let's use this club's emblem. 
to fight. Oh god, what the fuck? What is that? It's a rake. It's a little hand rake. That's for fucking moving the leaves, isn't it? This is so not necessary. And why is that hidden at the bottom of a grandfather clock? But oh, oh my god, my brain is just hurting. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to find something related to the, the the eyes or the heart symbol on the fuck. Not a fucking rake, uh, and that's it as well. It's just a rake. Ah, oh, this game doesn't make sense sometimes. Ah, oh, it's making me laugh. It's entertaining me. It's a lot of fun. Why not? I, I don't mind it, I suppose. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, let's go back upstairs. Let's um, I guess collect the hair and fix the hairdryer, right? So through the window. Let's do the hairdryer first. So what do we do? We can't like read in this game or anything. I guess we just gotta drag it. Okay, yeah. Ah. Okay, so another little puzzle section. We gotta try and replicate what we see on the drawing. Nice. Okay, so... There's only a few things out of place. But why were they out of place in the first place, if you know what I mean? Why was this broken. Okay, so hang on. Can we... Oh, we can interact with a few things up here as well, so that's got to be there. There's two little fuses, I guess, that go here. Um, looks like that one goes on the left. That one goes on the right. So where's this go? Oh, that goes over there. Okay. Oh, these are little sort of button lights. So that's got to go off on... That's got to be in the middle, like that. Yeah, that's it. Um, these things, they go there. Uh, that one's got to be... No, oh, why am I looking at the drawing? It's got to be there, and that one uh, has got to be in the middle. Because it connects there, and it connects at the bottom there, you see. That's got to be right. Doesn't it? That looks about right. Oh, and these things at the bottom. So, that's got to be pointed down. That's got to be up, and that's got to be in the middle. <laughs> this might be useful. It certainly might be. I certainly hope so. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so in here, let's collect the hair. This is all making sense now. I have no idea why Holly was collecting, you know, trying to collect the hair and the tooth before she saw what was drawn on the floor. That's just kind of creepy. This is actually just a nice cover for her weird fetish, I think. But there we go. We found some blocks of hair. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay. I guess we gotta go back down to the freezer. Here we are then. Let's see if we can get that bucket. That's, uh, that's the hairdryer, right? Yes, it is. Not even plugged in! <laughs> Doesn't matter, it works. It fucking translates as well. That is defrost, apparently. And it's instantaneous! Amazing. Alright. Okay, don't need to mess with this anymore. It was just the bucket. That's all we needed. Let's... Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Let's go rake some leaves, shall we? Why we can do this with anything else, I have no idea, but... <laughs> Holly is perhaps a little bit too particular for her own good. Oh, right. I was wondering when we're going to find this, or make this. It's the figurine's hand, so we can open the box. Great. Okay. So this is all coming together now. I think we actually might be sort of hitting the end of the chapter. Um, so, let's just... I'm just going to remind you guys, we're only on Act 1, right? There's seven chapters of the main game and this new bonus chapter called Dagger's Home, which I think has just been released with the Steam version as well. So I'm going to be busy with this game for a long time, and that's a great thing. So uh, there you go. Right. The bucket goes there. Tied up. Yep. Dunks down, and now I suppose we can... Work the crank. That's it! What's this? This is the pendant our mother gave Heather. Right. 
and it's a heart. No coincidence, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, so that's that's the comb symbol, that's the heart symbol. I'm assuming something in that box in the kitchen is going to be for the eyes. Alright, we can't put the bucket back, there's nothing else down there. How we actually found a, a, a jewel like that is kind of unbelievable. I mean, wouldn't that just sink to the bottom? How did that get in the bucket? Maybe I shouldn't be asking questions like this. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. So... This, yeah? Yeah. Figurine hand goes there. And now we can move the arms and the hands into the correct position. So what did it look like? Let's have a look at the clues. There you go. Okay, so let's start with his sort of like left arm first. Okay. So there you go. Just drag that down. Is it going is it going straight down? Kinda looks like it is, and then it sort of swings out to the side a little bit, like that. And the hand. Yeah, you can move the hand around as well. What does that look like? It looks like it's going kind of straight down, like that. Okay, and the other arm? Okay. So it's like there. There we are, there we are. Glasses! Again, there you go, it makes sense, it's relating to the eyes. I think we're coming to the end of this. Okay. Fantastic, that was it though, just the glasses. Okay. Alright, let's go back into that scary room. We've got some items to put on the floor. So, the lock of hair. There you go. The jewel on the heart, and the glasses on the eye. And that's how that works, apparently. Um, oh, well, now I can collect the keys? Yeah? Sure? Easy enough? Oh, sharp-sighted, good. <laughs> I've actually learned that that achievement is, um, you only get that achievement if you don't press the hint button during the sort of hidden object games or mini games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Silly achievement, really. But there we are. So we have eight keys. And there's nothing else here. There's nothing else here. Don't want to take any of the knives, no. Don't want to defend myself against this mysterious ghost woman I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye. No, that's it. Let's head to the basement. Ooh. <laughs> All right, looking forward to this. Oh, do I stop recording? No, I can't do that. Can't leave you on a cliffhanger, not now. I'm not that mean. Four to go. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, it's the basement door. Looks like there's a light on down there. Let's go. Oh, Christ, look at this. Okay, someone's lit the candles. Oh. The door seems to have been locked for ages, and yet those candles are still burning. Is that a hint of fear I see in her face? Maybe the Botox is wearing off. going on? The hell? I'm not going down there in the dark, but you were, you were just down there. And why is it dark? Do we still- oh, okay, we still got the lighter. That one down there? Right, R what, ha what happened there? Did she black out? Was she imagining that? Let's go down. Oh, Christ. Oh, is that blood? There's something lying there, but it's too dark to see.
The police told me my sister had been dead for years. They asked me if I'd noticed anything. I lied. that? A house? Treehouse. Oh. We used to spend all our time there. What was she trying to tell me? Alright, finally! May have taken five videos, but we've finished Act 1, we're now on to Act 2, and I suppose now we have a completely new building to explore. Uh, what happened with the skulls and everything, though? Oh! Okay, she's pretty clever. She's actually keeping the lighter, at the very least, and the skulls. Uh, we've got to collect a set of those, of course. Right, uh, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching this part and this act. Uh, the support has been great on every video. Thank you very much for supporting this series. It means a lot, helps a lot. Um, hope to see you back when we start Act 2 in Part 6. Does the key fit? It does! Thank fuck for that. Okay, so the anti-rust spray. Meat can. And that's it, we don't get to keep the can, it was just that one spray, and it's done. You don't exactly get your money's worth, do you? Oh, maybe... <laughs> Stupid idea, but... Do I have to pick up each leaf individually? No, I don't. Thank fuck for that. To fi- oh god, what the fuck? What is that? It's a rake, it's a little hand rake! That's for fucking moving the leaves, isn't it? This is so not necessary, and why is that hidden? At the bottom of a grandfather clock, but... Oh, oh my god, my brain is just hurting! Okay. 